back to our Sulky Patterns YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we are talking about our beautiful organic border print fabric, how we designed it, the inspiration, and all the good stuff in which it's made from. So here is the beautiful border print fabric. We will of course do close-ups for you as well. So again, with the design, we designed um, this print inspired by London. The uh, clock tower print, the Big Ben um, design was painted by me, and it was really inspired by, of course, Big Ben, but we wanted to include some super on-brand, gorgeous wearable colorways, so it's very much an interpretive version of Big Ben. Mm. And this pattern also features St. Paul's Cathedral, which is one of the most beautiful buildings in London. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely stunning, and it's also an incredible, incredible um, structure and design, and the way the stone um, lights up in the evening against the sky, this completely inspired this print. Just the way the building almost looks grey or blue, that was really inspiring. Yeah. And of course it is the top of the dome which you can always see peeking through all the other buildings. Mm. So that's something we really wanted to feature in a border print and it's just so stunning. We have yeah. also created um, little gold, uh, gold like dots. Each single dot was individually painted and shadowed so it gave it a sort of a gold effect without using gold foil. Um, which is just absolutely beautiful and it just really fills this nicely together and it kind of gives it a, a sort of a flow. Yeah, I think we wanted for, obviously it's only got a print right on the border so I think those gold dots transition nicely um, or, or make that transition between the border print and the rest of the fabric. I think we that was a last minute addition that we did. Mm. And I think before that it was very much a block of the border yeah. print yeah. and then the block colour for the rest of the fabric. So I think by doing that we got that nice transition. So I think this was the most involved print that we did yeah. by far because it just depends on how how it looks when it's finished because obviously mm. a border print can only be used in one way as a border or you know on the side but it, it's it only exists in one place on whatever it is that you're making so I think we experimented a lot with this one and and also we had to determine the size of the border you know what works as a border because it can't be too big as well as um, the design is completely basically designed for dressmaking. We took yeah. that into consideration when we had the length at the bottom of the border print. So we designed it so that there's enough length for you to have a gap between the buildings and the end of the skirt and still be able to hem your garment with the seam allowance. Yeah. Um, so, so with the hem so, allowance, sorry. Yeah, so, so the um, the border print isn't bang on the border because then if you hem it, you would, you will lose, some you of would the lose the print, which we didn't want. So we um, we added that in so that you can hem it and then you'll um, be left with the full border. And what I absolutely love about this fabric is the texture of the cotton really takes the dye beautifully and it looks like the design has been hand painted. When I yeah. originally painted this design I used a really beautiful uh, watercolour paper that gave the design a really gorgeous texture and the fabric really lends itself well to this design. For the colours of this we were very much inspired by, again, a very popular colour of the late 1850s that was traditionally worn by nurses. <laughs> um, we decided to vamp it up a little bit to make it a bit more modern, a bit more wearable and a bit more clean. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of the original colours it came in. It's a bit more grey, it's coming up quite blue on camera and yeah. then when we had it printed on a cream base it came up as this, which again is the perfect transseasonal colour. You can wear it in summer with a Breton top or a white shirt, mm -hmm. or you can wear it in winter with like grey tights, black tights, jumpers. It's just a really good transseasonal fabric, and the structure of the skirt with this fabric is absolutely beautiful. I think it goes really well with other colours as well, if you want to um, you know, combine your garments, and I think it goes well with different skin tones as well, because um, sometimes if it's too icy, it doesn't go so well with really pale tones mm. or you know so I think we we struck a middle chord and also I think this this particular color also sometimes reminds me of that the color of the sky in London not entirely mm. blue it's not entirely it's gray. gray it's a London it's, sky it's the London sky it's yeah, the London it's sky in the with the buildings yeah 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 so this print is called skyline and um, it is available on Kickstarter as one of our pledges. Yes, and when you pledge for any of our London print fabrics, you will also get a complimentary pattern, which is our London pattern, our debut pattern. So you get the fabric and a PDF version of our London pattern, which is very exciting. This fabric has been woven um, in India where we've responsibly sourced our our fabric. It's got certified, which means that the raw material has a organic certification attached to it. 
it has been printed in London, which is amazing. Uh, for our local, London design. Yeah, well. yeah. And local to us. So, you know, we keep those those transport miles low after it's been imported. And the fabric is 140 centimeters wide. And it's a Panama cotton, so it's slightly heavier, uh, which makes it perfect for our London skirt. The inks that have been used are Inditex clear to wear ink, which means that it doesn't contain any chemicals that are harmful for either us um, or the environment. So um, it's a great way to indicate that it's been tested, and uh, which is very important for yeah. us. Dyeing is one of the most um, toxic part of a fabric's production. Mm -hmm. So the dye element of Selkie was really researched, and this is something we were very passionate about at the very beginning of our project and the yeah. very beginning of our business. Dyeing fabric can be a very harmful thing. Absolutely. So of course we wanted to dye our fabrics responsibly mm. and chemical free. So we're really happy with the color payoff. And as you can see, there are alternatives to the way you can dye your fabrics. And because it's printed um, and it's digitally printed, there isn't um, the, the, you know, the, the technical processes attached to that mm. there's no there's no or little very little water involved so or whereas waste. yeah so whereas mm. traditional dyeing the fabric is immersed in water and then the dye is added and actually only 10 to 15 percent of the of the chemical dyes stick to the fabric the rest of the water now contains the rest of the chemicals of that dye mm. and that is disposed of and that is why the textile industry is a very harmful industry so for us it was very important to find suppliers who um, do digital printing so there's very little ink waste there is very to zero water waste um, and also our supplier has a um, an amazing system of turning off machines when they're not used to keep the energy um, low to recycle all the fabric scraps because again you know there's a lot of there's a lot of testing involved with these processes we had to go through several yeah. samples to get and to companies get, yeah to, to get, get the, the right, right color to get yeah. the right um the right um color fastness that we wanted it so that when you wash it it doesn't wash out straight away you know there's a lot of testing that comes before printing the actual product so it's very important that that doesn't go to waste so mm. we really selected our suppliers based on that so that's um key to us thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, we hope you enjoyed our little behind the scenes look at one of our prints and we will see you soon for more updates thank you see bye, you soon. bye.